Hi guys and welcome to another inbox review. This time it's of the Airfix Dog Di Dogfight Doubles Spitfire Mark IX, whatever that is, I'm not that good with the Roman name rules and the Messerschmitt BF on ten C slash D. Um so obviously it's the Airfix on seventy second scale, World War Two era, obviously. Um Shows them to be skill level two, so a beginner could give it a go, but then he may or she may choose to go for skill level one for the time being. Um, it says it includes two kits, so obviously the one ten and spit. And down the front we have glue, load of paints, and the brush. Um, obviously the Airfix ones now come in a slightly different packaging, it's just all that sealed in a bag. But it's nice that they include it, because a beginner might look at it and think they want to build it. So the bottom shows the dimensions of the Messerschmitt and the Spitfire. Messerschmitt with 44 parts, Spitfire with 22. Um, so that's showing two panes, one brush, one glue, six paints, and one stand is that, I presume. Comes with two flying hours and all the model kit. Well, 10 new it's model kit in different languages. That box standard side, top has nothing on it, and the other box standard side. So let's get into it, shall we? All comes packaged in a tidy little um, box. There's something that's wrapped around in there. Um, let's say we've got the glue, paint, and the brush. Um, now, I'll just leave the glue and paints and that. You, you should all know what it all does. Glue puts it together, paint, and the brush paints it. So. Right, I think first of all we look at the 110 instructions, then the 110 and Spitfire instructions and Spitfire. So, throw them over there for a minute. Open it out, and we have usual airfix information telling you about the plane. Um, obviously, it's history of World War II and stuff like that. Um let's see if there's any decals in there. There isn't. Decals must be floating around in the box somewhere. So first page on the box standard safety information. All the bits to tell you, you know, obviously there. Do it multiple times or add weight, I think that one is. Options. Um, first instruction is literally everything you can think of to be done. So you've got horizontal stamps being put together, the fuselage, the wings, the engine cowlings, the um, propellers. So all of that in the first instruction. And looking at it, it doesn't have any interior on it at all. So, have a quick look at when the kit's from. Um, hopefully, it'll just say on the box. Um, which doesn't say. I'm sure it must be somewhere. Come on. Give me something. Uh, no, I don't. I don't say on here what year it's from. Oh well. Anyway. Getting distracted. 
<laughs> so, second instruction is everything else you didn't put on the first instruction, put on. So, got the bombs, you've got obviously radiators or something, exhausts, um, undercarriage, thingies, um, doors, undercarriage wheels, and undercarriage legs. Um, the painting guide for the undercarriage. Um, yeah. And a f what? Okay. Right. And instruction number three, but they've labelled it number two again, is if you want it closed. So, yeah, nothing more to say about that. But it does come with two whole pilots. Wow. Um, canopy and the gun being put on with the um, aerial and the tail wheel. And there it shows the pilot being painted. So, now let's look at the options. One option is BF110C5 from 4F slash Ulf Klarung's Group 14, German Air Force, Cherbourg, France, July 1940. So, it's the usual 110 scheme you'll see with the um, usual German camo. So, it doesn't actually blend in the fields because fields don't have really straight lines, in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, bottom of it being painted just with one colour, shows a side view. Tells you what humbrol numbers to use. So you've got 27, 33, got 171, 91. So yeah. Um, and the second scheme is from 8 Staffel 3 Group Zestor. The store group ZG twenty six horse wessel wessel something German Air Force Tra Trapani Sicily nineteen forty two so mid war mid war version um, I think that's two tone is it two tone camo yeah. Well, not camo, I should say, just two tone paint scheme. One tone bottom, one tone top, job done. Add the decals, give a coat of varnish, and you are done. So, that's the instructions done for a minute. Let's have a look at the parts. First time these have ever been opened since whenever it was made. They would open. Right. So get out all the parts, even the ones that have broken off the bloody screws. Right. Pop the bag over there. Right. So we have a wing. All raised um, detail there. Obviously, the only one there. Um, it's all right detail. It's loads of squares, but I suppose you could pick them out if you build a kit. Um, pop all the parts over there. And show them like this. Probably be a bit easier. There's the second wing. Exactly the same as the first, just on the opposite side. Obviously that snapped off the sprue. Um, 
Move the canopy over there. I'll leave that there for a minute. Unless I really need it and it starts going out of focus. There is fuselage half. Box down to detail, really. Inside has absolutely nothing. Um, where's the other fuselage half? Right, so under here. Show this one too. Nothing new there. There you go. Just as I say, all the bog stands and stuff you'd see on an old airfix kit. Um, here we have a bit of a pointless sprue because it's got four parts on such a large area. It's the two different bombs, well, the two bombs that go on either wing. And that was just literally falling off now. Um, we have the bottom half of the wing on there. No detail on the insides. Um, it's obviously. Oh, the other wing. Again, that wing, exactly the same. So, oh no, I hate kits without any lo lo locating holes. Obviously, those wings will go together like so. Um, Then we have the propeller, one of them, quite flashy that is, if I could get it to focus a bit better. It's got a fair bit of flash on it, and it's an old kit anyway, so they're the engine cowlings with the exhausts, um, and the rudders and tail fin bits. Um, the other sprue has again the prop, the horizontal stab that goes right along the back of the plane, the two exhausts, the nose cone, two pilots, and the main wheels again there's quite a lot of flash on there so if you were to build this kit it would all have to be cleaned up two ejector pin marks on the back there which have to be cleaned up too and the last part of the 110 the canopy all one piece um, distortion no, it's okay. Sort of. But then there's only two pilots, so it's probably better that it's distorted anyway, so. Um, right, I'll throw all of these parts just on the top of the bag in a second. I have to rush through the next one a bit. I think the video is getting quite long already. Right. Actually that's the point. Where did the decals go? Oh, let's have a look at the stand first. The old airfix stands. It's obviously a small one at the front, big one at the back, and I have one like going down, like chasing the other one down. Um Where are the decals for it? By the looks of it, it doesn't have any. Why is it that rattling around inside the box earlier? Mm, it's just the cover bit. 
Okay. Have to contact and fix part them then. If they still do the decals. Um anyway the Spitfire decals. They look like they could still be used. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just they've gone a bit off colour. Um we've got Canadian decal there. So obviously this version must have been flown by Canadians. That makes sense. Okay, so the Spitfire. Again, as with the 110, all the usual blabbing on about the plane. Wow. Can tell this is an old air fixed door. Instruction one. Put one pilot in one seat. Instruction two. Put the seat in the fuse large, put the wings on and put the horizontal stabs on, along with the propeller and propeller hub. So it rushes you through just like the other one. Um, and then it shows at the bottom a nice little touch of dihedral of the wings, so how much they've got to angle upwards. So it's seven degrees. Not like it's really going to matter unless you've got rivet campers. Um, then the hardest instructions put in the tail wheel on, canopy on, and the aerial mast on before you put the undercarriage and air intake bits on there and then last of all you got one scheme oh, doesn't say who flew it or anything that's annoying but yeah anyway it, as I said, it's got a Canadian decal on it. Usual camo, so what's the camo? 30, so it's a dark green. And... What's the... Thingy? Is it... Um, the other one is... 106. Which is... Uh, I don't know actually. Round 94 is the band going round. Is it? No, it's 90 the band going round and 64 the other camo thing. Um, so there's the prop saying 33 and 24, so black and yellow. And the bottom of it, the top of it showing you the pattern of the camo. And then the side of it. So the instructions. Simple old airfix stuff, but it does its job, it tells you what to do with the kit, so can't complain too much. So now we get the parts out. Come on, canopy. There we go. Right. So we have the canopy over there. Two wings. Nice detail again, it's race detail but can't complain too much. Um, bottoms of the wings. Again, bog standard detail, whatever a spit follower would have and the wheel wells. Um, and then we have one of the fuselage sides. Getting raised detailed, rudder is well shown, exhausts are already in, so it may be a bit tricky for painting for beginners. Um, bottom has no detail and the top has minimal detail, but yeah, it's okay for such an old kit really. Um, then Okay, here we have the other side of the fuselage. The prop with a lot of flash on it. The seat, the pilot. 
horizontal stabilizers, sta stabilizers, and a big stretchy piece of sprue. Um, oh yeah, I'm not forgetting the all important bits that are called the wheels, helpful for landing. So, yeah. And the final piece, the canopy. My little metal again to help show you what it is like for distortion. Again, it's quite bad to be honest, but again, it's an old uh, fixed kit, so what can you expect? And just quickly check again through the. No, it's just a safety notice thing there. Don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so we seem to be missing the decals for the 110. Uh, so sorry I couldn't show you the decals as well, but what can you do? But, oh well, I'm sure this video is good enough for all you guys. Um, I, if I can convince my dad to give them to me, I'll build them. Because, to be honest, I want to build that Spitfire, most of all. It looks really nice. Even though it's got flash on it. I like Spitfires. Almost as much as Harriers, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't work out where the decals have gone for the 110, but oh well. So, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. If you like the video, give it a like, show support. And it does give me motivation to keep going. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.